you're a busy motion designer and you feel like you should be posting on social but you don't know where to start and you're also telling yourself some excuses like I don't have time to post, I don't know what to say and what even should I be posting on social media to help me to get clients. Today I'm going to share with you my step-by-step -step guide so you'll be posting on social media easily and getting tons of clients. <laughs> I've also prepared a free guide for you with 52 examples of posts from real motion designers. So if you want to download our free social media guide, check out the link below this video. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you the number one mistake that motion designers make when it comes to social media. The first step to creating a great social media strategy is choosing the right platform. Now, this is quite difficult because for many motion designers, their clients might actually live in different places online. So how do you find out where your ideal clients are? so that you can attract them on social media. There's definitely examples of motion designers using all types of platforms. For example, one of our students, Joe Walker, made 24 grand on LinkedIn in just four months by using our social media guide and sharing and posting regularly. Another one of my students, Manuel Does Motion, has a fantastic YouTube channel. He posts a lot on TikTok and Instagram and he grows his audience there and this supports him on his main YouTube channel. And I know what you're thinking, that's all right for Joe and Manuel. Well, but what about you? Which platform should you be choosing to attract your ideal clients? Well, what you need to do is experiment on different platforms and see which ones work the best. I'd recommend posting and engaging on one platform for at least three months before trying out and moving to another platform. It's really important to try each platform out and track your results because this is going to show you what's the most effective for you to attract your ideal clients on social media. Let me know in the comments below which platform are you using and what's working for you to get clients. So once you've chosen your platform, the next step is to ensure that you're consistent on that platform. Consistency is incredibly important because it lets your audience know when you're going to be there and it will help them to engage more with your posts. All social media platforms absolutely love engagement and this is because they usually want to keep people on their platforms as long as possible so they can make money from their ads. I know, dark right? It's much much better to post once a week for a month than post for four days and then do absolutely nothing for the rest of the month. To ensure that you are posting consistently, I recommend using a scheduling platform. You could use something like Buffer or Hootsuite. We actually use Loomly here at Motion Hatch, so feel free to check that one out as well. In our social media guide, we have got a full list of resources that you can use to schedule your content. By scheduling it out in your calendar, you're not getting distracted throughout the day and you can concentrate on your creative work. Now that you have your platform and scheduling strategy in place, now is the time to create some content. If you think that you need to create a bespoke animation for every single post, then you're wrong. You should create posts that are not only about your own work, but also starting conversations in the industry. Social media platforms absolutely love conversations because they drive engagement. Here are four different types of posts that will drive engagement. The first type of posts are relatable posts, and these posts help people to get to know you. The next type of post that drives engagement is interactive posts. Now, interactive posts could be something like a poll. I love posting polls on LinkedIn, because it helps me to know what you're all thinking out there and what videos you'd like to have next. So if you want to follow me on LinkedIn, I'll leave the link below this video. The next type of post that drives engagement is a community post. And these are always just nice too, because it's about giving value back, teaching a skill or celebrating others. It's really nice to repost other people's content and to celebrate their work as well, because it shows that you're a valuable member of the motion design community. And who doesn't want to be a valuable part of our community? So I recommend that you do these posts at least once a month. These will also help you to build relationships and maybe get referrals from your other motion designers. And then the final type of post is a sales post. So this is probably the post that you were thinking about posting anyway, just posting about your work. But notice how only one of these posts are actually posting your own work. So if you feel like you have to post your animations all the time, it's just not true. And actually a lot of the other posts will give you more value and help you to get more clients than just posting all about your work. Work. Additionally, I like to use Grammarly to create my posts because it helps me to keep the posts error free and I'm not the best writer so I recommend tools like this because it helps you to make sure that you aren't making any grammar and spelling errors. Finally, it's really important to track your results because you 
you need to see what's working for you and what's not working for you, like we said at the beginning of this video. So in our social media guide, we actually have a page where you can track your results and see what's helping you to get clients and build relationships in our industry. I really recommend doing this because there's no point in posting on social media if it isn't helping you in your business. It's obviously nice to help other people too, but that's a bonus and a cherry on top. What we want is we want you to get more clients on social media. So make sure you are tracking your analytics. And finally, the number one mistake that I see motion designers make on social media is not engaging with other people. Once you have your content in place, it's really important to build a community around it. Don't just reply by coming in on your own posts. Make sure you go and comment on other people's posts too. This is really a great way to build relationships and to network in your industry. So make sure you're doing this with your peers, but also with your potential clients. Clients. There's a great group of motion designers at the moment on LinkedIn who are supporting each other and commenting on each other's posts. So I recommend that you get involved. I'll leave my link below this video in the description. If you're still unsure about which platform you should be using, then you should watch this video next where I talk about why I recently switched from Instagram to LinkedIn.